So Shield Protocol is about to build a decentralized AI training platform to provide the AI training service. And uh, if we see some challenge, if we look at the current, uh, like the cutting edge deep learning models, like the GPT-3, stable diffusion, they are getting larger and larger and they require hundreds to thousands of GPUs to work together to train or fine tune. So they care about the performance or the dollar efficiency very much. So imagine if we create another service that doubles the price or they just doubles the training time, uh, there would be no reason for them to switch. So that is being said, like the AI industry has spent years to building amazing softwares and uh, the best practice for the distributed, uh, distributed AI training. So best case is we, we, we want to keep the users still using their existing code or software without modifications. And uh, so the Shield Protocol did the trade-off to not add any verifications to the compute, uh, model computing itself, because that will create, create a actual overhead very large. For example, if we want to run the zero knowledge proof against the model compute, so there will be super slow and uh, we will expose some limitations like we cannot effectively use FP32. Uh, the current um, uh, the AI training market is in, manipulate by few cloud providers, centralized providers like the uh, GCP or AWS. Uh, currently, users just come to this service and request a training environment, which include the accelerators, the local storage in a local network. And the user will need to upload their data set to the environment through internet. So the shell protocol is a decentralized exchange of the platform where anybody with the right hardware can be a provider, can provide such an environment. And uh, uh, so this will lower the bar to the market and make the market more saturated, so lower the price. So to make this happen, we have to think about the, the providers could come from anywhere of the world. So uh, we cannot let users upload their data set anymore through the internet. So we, we, we take this in, uh, into consideration. We have to let uh, the provider to prove they already has the data set and uh, uh, pre-mounted in the local network. So this is a diagram of the design on the FVM. So our plan is to launch the first implementation on the Firecoin mainnet. This is a screenshot of the program concept demo in the test net. Yeah. So if you want to contact, these are the links. Okay, thank you. <laughs>